Hi children, good morning all of you. Hope all are fine. I think children again no need of any introduction. I already took one class for you. Okay, I think all of you studied whatever we took last classes. Already we took the classification of natural resources. Okay, natural resource already I explained in the last class. Today we will discuss our new topic that is classification of resource, human resource and the human made resource. Okay children, before discussing about human resource and human made resource, just I would like to remind our previous portion. Okay, I think all of you know, but once again I am reminding you, what is a resource? Anything that is found in our environment that is used to satisfy human needs are known as resources. Resources are mainly classified into three, natural resources, human resources and human made resources. Okay, then what is natural resources? Natural resources are those resources we are getting directly from the nature and we can make utilize it without much modification. Actually, these are the free gift of nature. Okay, then natural resources further classified on the basis of renewability, on the basis of development, on the basis of origin and distribution. Okay, on the basis of renewability, natural resources are classified into renewable resources and non-renewable resources. On the basis of development, it is classified into actual resources and potential resources. On the basis of origin, natural resources are classified into biotic resources and abiotic resources. Okay, on the basis of Distribution, natural resources are classified into ubiquitous resources and the localized resource. Okay, just reminded, I think children, all of you studied well. Don't be lazy, whatever taking that day itself study. Okay, now we will go, we, we, we can discuss our today's topic that is human resources and human made resource. Okay children, what is a human resource? People. People are called human resource. Okay. Why people became human resource? Because our profession, our ability, our creativity, our skill, our knowledge, these all are very important for every country's development. So, people are the most important resource. Clear children? So, people are called human resource and people are the most important resource. I think children, you understood. Can you imagine if no human beings are there, then who will make utilize of natural resources? So, what I told that correct now? People are the most important resource called human resources. I think clear children? Now, we do, do you hear about what is human resource development? What is human resource development? Okay, I will tell. The existing human resource that is further developed by giving better education and health is known as human resource development. Okay, existing human resource further developed by giving better education and health is known as human resource development. Okay, children? Then uh, you know children, already I told you what is human resource development. You maybe you heard why you are now going to school, why you are coming to school. Okay, already you are a human resource and your existing knowledge want to further, want further development. For that purpose you are coming to school. Okay, now you understood what is human resource development. Maybe you heard human resource development department and all you heard many times. Okay, human resource development ministry and all he, you heard. Okay, can I ask one question? You will find out now. Okay, who is the current human uh, HRD minister of India? You want any clue? Okay, name is starting with R. I think children, you will find out it. Okay, now we can go to our next term. 
ഓക്കെ അവർ നെക്സ്റ്റ് കൺസെപ്റ്റ് ഈസ് ഹ്യൂമൺ മെയ്ഡ് റിസോഴ്സ് ഓക്കെ വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹ്യൂമൺ മെയ്ഡ് റിസോഴ്സ് ഫ്രം ദ ഹെഡിങ് ഇറ്റ് സെൽഫ് യു ക്യാൻ അണ്ടർസ്റ്റാൻഡ് വാട്ട് ഈസ് ഹ്യൂമൺ മെയ്ഡ് റിസോഴ്സ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ റിസോഴ്സ് മെയ്ഡ് ബൈ ഹ്യൂമൺ ബീങ്സ് റിസോഴ്സ് മെയ്ഡ് ബൈ ഹ്യൂമൺ ബീങ്സ് ആർ നോൺ ആസ് ഹ്യൂമൺ മെയ്ഡ് റിസോഴ്സ് ഫോർ എക്സാമ്പിൾ യു നോ ചിൽഡ്രൻ ഷുഗർ കെയ്ൻ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ റിസോഴ്സ് ഷുഗർ കെയ്ൻ ഇസ് എ നാച്ചുറൽ റിസോഴ്സ് ത്രൂ മാനുഫാക്ചറിങ് ദി ഷുഗർ കെയ്ൻ വിൽ ചേഞ്ച് ഇൻ ടു ഷുഗർ okay so it will be a human made resource clear next another example we can look rubber okay rubber is a natural resource you know from rubber we can make rubber sheets tires okay so it will become a human made resource so these are some example for human made resource not only this children we can tell many example this chalk then uh, benches we are sitting desk bench chairs parks this school hospitals then uh, ra- uh, railway stations uh, road everything even a safety pin to big machinery that is made by human beings so these all we can tell these all are the example for human made resource i think children you got an idea about a human made resource now we will do a small activity can i tell give some example you can identify it is which type of resource okay i will write on the board just identify okay okay these are some example okay children can you tell these all are which type of resource air air is a natural resource water water is a natural resource what is plastic plastic is a human made resource a teacher okay teacher is a human resource rubber rubber is a natural resource doctor doctor is a human resource okay sunlight sunlight is a natural resource buildings buildings are all the buildings all are human made resource i think children now it is clear which are the three classification natural resources classification of resource that is natural resources human resources and human made resource i think it is clear for you can we go to our next topic okay now we will discuss our next term that is conservation of resources what is resource conservation okay using the resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed is known as resource conservation using the resources carefully and giving time to get renewed is known as conservation of or resource conservation using the resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed get renewed is known as resource conservation actually children this resource conservation is an important strategy in india because our resources are largely depleted you know many of the human activities that largely exploiting our resources so resource conservation is very important for every country can you tell how the resources are depleted by human beings 
we are cutting trees we are burning plastic we are over exploiting nature we are doing many mining activities and we are polluting our air water so these type of every activities that you do done by human beings that will lead to resource depletion okay children so i think you got an idea about resource conservation and resource depletion okay children during this time i want to remind you a quote given by our father of nation mahatma gandhi okay gandhi is telling that about resource conservation gandhi is telling that there is there is enough for everybody's need not for anybody's greed there is enough for everybody's need not for anybody's greed okay according to gandhi our exploitative exploitative nature of human technology and our selfish human beings these are the two main reason for the exploitation or depletion of resource according to gandhi okay children this just i told you uh, just for one quote that given by our father of nation just i told you okay now we will discuss our next topic that is how we can conserve our resources okay some good practices for conserving our resources okay what are the steps we can do or what are the practices we can do for the conservation of resources first one children we can reduce the item from our shopping list that you know children reduce the item from our shopping list then we can reuse leftover food items reuse leftover food items okay children then don't waste paper okay don't waste paper if it is walkable distance you can walk okay i am not writing all every point you will get in the textbook children i am i am making it short and right writing okay if it is walkable distance we can walk okay then next children we can recycle some items that i will i will explain it okay we can recycle some items next children reduce the usage of usage of water and electricity okay next during any special occasion you can plant trees these are some practices we can do in our own way for the conservation of our resource first one children i told no we can reduce the item from our shopping li list okay we, while we are going for shopping we know children we will buy many things we won't look at whatever we are seeing that everyone we will buy okay that actually children these are we these all items we will get directly from the nature no while we will exploit many natural resources for making this type of resources so if we reduce our uh, items from the list means many resources will be conserved okay the next one reuse the leftover food item means uh, don't waste any food item okay whatever the leftover food item is there that means that we can reuse it okay next don't waste paper that be everyone are doing children we are playing with paper we are throwing paper and we are wasting so lot of paper do you know children for making paper how how many trees are cutting for making this type of paper 80 percentage of the paper that is mainly made through trees okay softwood trees like coniferous forest and all largely used for making tree okay if we are reducing the usage or wasting of paper means we can save many trees clear 
and the next children uh, you know we are going to any relative house we are uh, using vehicles motor vehicles okay okay if it is walkable distance means you can walk or we can use bicycle then a large amount of fuels will be saved clear then children many uh, items we can recycle and reuse for example paper okay paper your notebook that everything we can give for this type of people will come to our home no we can give then plastics then cans that type of then uh, different type of cans made with iron and all no that everything we can reuse and uh, recycle and reuse okay then another thing children we can plant trees in any particular occasion not i am telling only environmental day we will plant tree after that we won't look what will happen to that tree we won't look not actually like that children if any special occasion in your life for example during your birthday time if you are planting one tree means throughout your life you can see that plant you know you can see that plant and it will get some happiness in your mind also okay so that is another method so if you are planting tree means many trees okay it will we, we, uh, we can serve save our earth okay the next children reduce the usage of water and electricity that you can do in your home and you can do in our school also okay after usage switch off every light and fan then we can save electricity okay next children water after the usage close the tap then we can save our water resource that you know children our earth is known as a blue planet okay why earth is called blue planet because three fourth of the earth covered with the water okay in that three fourth of the water earth covered with water in that 97.5 percentage are salt water okay only 2.5 percentage fresh water available for us in this 2.5 percentage fresh water 70 percentage are in the form of ice sheets and glaciers okay children so that much only water fresh water available for us so we have to take care our water resource not only that children you know last two years in kerala we got heavy rainfall due to heavy heavy rainfall that flooded in kerala that you know still during the summer season we faced acute water shortage so it is our duty to conserve our water resource you will do no children so all of you please careful about these type of resources clear children so i think you got an idea about what are the method we can follow for the conservation of our resource okay next we will go take another topic sustainable development Okay, children. What is sustainable development? You heard about sustainable development? Yes, I I know everyone heard, but that term little bit confusion. Don't know what is the definition. Okay, okay. I will tell children. Balancing the use of resources and conserve them for future generation is known as sustainable development. It is not mentioned in your textbook. If you want, you can write any corner of your textbook, children. Okay. Balancing the use of resources and conserve them. for future generation is known as sustainable development balancing the use of resources and conserve them for future generation is known as sustainable development you know children every resources we have to utilize in a sustainable manner in a judicious manner okay now we are enjoying many benefit no children we are traveling in two wheelers four wheelers and using different type of vehicles and these vehicle and all you know children large amount of fuels are consumed for using this type of vehicles okay so if we are not controlling the use 
usage means what will happen our next generation they also want to get this type of benefit no so we have to use the resources in a judicious and a sustainable manner okay so first we discussed resource conservation resource conservation and sustainable development don't be confused okay resource conservation means using the resources carefully and giving them time to get renewed okay sustainable development means balancing the use of resources and conserve them for future generation i think children you got an idea about sustainable development next children in your textbook one blue co corner one small topic is there that is about the greenhouse effect and the global warming okay now we will discuss what is greenhouse effect and the global warming Okay, children, you heard about uh, greenhouses. Actually, what is greenhouses? Greenhouses are the houses made with the glasses. Okay, why glasses are using for making this type of houses? Okay, glasses are mainly used for making this type of houses during the summer season because these glasses will allow the sunlight to tap inside and that warm will be there inside that house itself. Okay, and during the summer season, solar energy or sunlight that is tapped in this type of houses and after that during the winter season, the, these solar energy or heat sunlight is used for cultivation. Such type of houses are known as greenhouses actually children this is man made or human made greenhouses okay then you know how our atmosphere become greenhouse how okay i will tell children you know we are using large amount of motor vehicles we are traveling in different motor vehicles do you know how much smoke is emitted from this type of vehicle okay then not only from vehicles factories large amount of smoke that is coming out from factories then burning of plastic fossil fuel this and all release large amount of uh, that uh, gases means greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide carbon monoxide etc okay if this type of gases that uh, amount of this type of gases that increased in at our atmosphere means what will happen automatically our temperature atmospheric temperature will increase okay you know children sun is giving 100% sunlight to us or 100% heat sun is giving to us okay but we are not getting that 100 percentage we are only getting 51 percentage okay other 49 percentage some are absorbed by water vapor some are absorbed by clouds we are only getting 51 percentage okay if you are getting 100 sunlight means what will happen we will be burned okay so 51 percentage only we are getting that 51 percentage is sunlight that is intercepted by the earth that is known as insulation okay incoming solar energy that is intercepted by the earth that is known as insulation okay so whatever the sunlight that is intercepting in the earth that is get reflected to space itself understood children so this reflected solar waves because of this reflected solar waves our atmosphere is get heated okay if the amount of carbon dioxide is more in atmosphere means what will happen this carbon dioxide or these greenhouses absorb the heat so the temperature will exist in the atmosphere and our earth will turn into a greenhouse that is known as greenhouse effect or that process is known as global warming. I think children you got an idea about greenhouse effect and global warming. Is there any negative impact for greenhouse effect and global warming? Yes, many negative impact are, are there. You know children, you read in newspaper no, in, during summer season and all you read in newspaper because of this uh, solar uh, means uh, global warming because of uh, atmospheric temperature when sunburn occurred in Kerala sunburn occurred in other state and many people died because of sunburn that you read in newspaper no that is one impact of a uh, global warming clear any other impact is there did you hear about polar polar region 
this polar region is fully covered with ice okay children if the atmospheric temperature will increase means what will happen ices in the polar region or glaciers that will melt if the ice will melt means what will happen sea level will rise sea level rise means we will be under the water okay means flood will occur is it negative or positive impact so children we have to control or we have to protect our nature clear so i think children you got an idea about global warming and uh, what are the negative impact of global warming i think you got okay so as a human being it is our duty to protect our nature it is our duty to protect our earth okay children i think you will do in your own way what are the method we can follow that you can do it okay Uh, i think children you got an idea about this chapter read whatever i took to read that day itself study well children then this chapter will be very easy for you okay anyway children i think all of you bought new notebook and co you covered it and started writing i got many photos already you sent i know many students wrote i know you are very good children whatever work given you will do okay so children in your textbook have some textual question in page number 126 okay in that you can see some fill in the blanks and true or false question that all questions you write in your textbook itself okay then next you know children answer the following some c section and d section and e section some questions are the that questions write in your notebook okay you can take three or four days okay and complete it write it neatly write date everything and while writing time itself try to study okay maximum try to write yourself okay answer ki i will send you later but you try to write maximum yourself clear children i think all of you understood this chapter we will meet another class okay children clear i think all of you understood whatever i took okay all the best